Hi, welcome to another episode of DE Video News Roundup. This is DE Editor Kenneth Wong. Hope you and your loved ones are doing well. Glad to have you with me. You have seen a lot of robotic arms in factories, but perhaps not like the one from MX3D, a metal 3D printing company. This project is done in collaboration with Altair, produced as a replacement for the original arm in an ABB robot. This is not a perfect replica of the original part, but rather a much lighter part optimized with generative design technologies. This project shows the promise of generative design and 3D printing combined together to drastically reduce the weight of oversized industrial components, leading to nimbler, lighter machines. The project also shows there are ways to creatively use 3D printing to make parts that are several times larger than the print chamber of a typical on-site or in-office 3D printer. This week, Lenovo and AMD released the ThinkStation P620 powered by AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro CPUs. AMD offers Threadripper processors that are for general consumer machines and Threadripper Pro processors for professional workstations. This is, in AMD and Lenovo's words, the world's first 64-core workstation. The P620 is part of Lenovo ThinkStation product line, ranging from the small form factor P340 Tiny to the expandable desktop tower P920. You can configure your P620 with two NVIDIA Quadro RTX 8000 or four NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000. AMD's Ryzen Threadripper Pro CPUs compete with Intel Xeon CPUs, both seeking to attract original equipment manufacturer integration. The Lenovo P620 comes with PCIe Generation 4 with up to 1TB memory. The machine is set to become available in the fall. Autodesk recently added a generative design extension to its Fusion 360 add-ons allowing users to run topology optimization and lightweighting options from the software itself. This comes as a subscription option, $4,000 per year, added on to the Fusion 360 subscription price. Shown here is how MJK Performance used Autodesk generative design technology to find ways to reduce the weight and materials of triple clamps for a drag bike. Lightweighting or topology optimization is gaining ground in automotive and aerospace because lighter vehicles generally offer better fuel economy and better aerodynamics. Generative design is one of the ways you can explore a variety of lightweight design options using materials and geometric parameters as your input. PTC's cloud-hosted CAT on Shape has always been available for free licensing for education usage, but recently the company launched On Shape Education Enterprise, meant for schools, universities, and educational institutions with the need to scale their On Shape licenses to a large pool of users. So, as a faculty member, you might be asking yourself, "Why should I get On Shape? Or how is On Shape going to really help me in the classroom?" Well, I'm really excited to announce a new version of Onshape that is focused specifically for the classroom. This is going to allow you, as the instructor, to set up classes, invite students in, to manage the collaboration, the teams, to allow your TAs to be able to do grading. You're going to be able to also go back and look at how your students solved the problems that you gave them so that you can actually use that to improve your instruction. The Education Enterprise Vision comes with usage analytics and reporting features. The software is model on the Onshape Enterprise, meant for large corporations implementing Onshape Get among its users. This is all the news for this week. For more engineering and design-related news, please check out our website. That is digitalengineering247.com. 
That's digitalengineering247.com. Follow us on Twitter at DE Editor and subscribe to our YouTube channel called DE Streaming. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong wishing you good health and good engineering feats.